Hey guys, River Tramp Renegade. Uh, today I just wanted to kind of give you a, a review video of my 12 volt um, TV that I got. And I'm just parked out here at one of my favorite parks to go um, when it's you know nice outside, which today is just absolutely ridiculously hot. So if you're a full time and you're out there, um, just be careful in this heat. Make sure you drink enough water and try to get in the shade. I'm I'm parked right here in the shade. Um, there's a little cul-de-sac here, but there's this little park here. It just kind of loops around, and I usually park over here or over on the other side there with my door open to the sidewalk. But right now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, this time of day, there's not much shade over there because the sun's kind of directly overhead so most of the shade is in the grass where I can't park my van so this spot right here works pretty good and there's a there's a big spot here with some shade and there's a couple spots there and I park there from time to time and I like this place because there is a hotel over there I forget exactly what hotel it is I think it's a Marriott but they have free Wi-Fi so when I'm parked across the way there I can get my laptop out and get on the internet and, and do things. Sometimes I actually work from over there. Uh, you guys know I'm a real estate broker and appraiser and I can get my computer up right there and do everything I need to do other than print. I guess if I uh, figured out a way I could you know, run a printer off the inverter if I had a place to put the printer. But I'm gonna walk over here and show you this park real quick and then I'm gonna show you that TV and uh, kind of give you an update, a review of that and how that's working out for me. Now this park it's a public park and you can't park here overnight you know it closes at 11 p.m but you can come here during the day uh, and you know hang out most of the day there's picnic tables over there in the shade there's a nice pond here and a dock um, i'm not sure if you can fish here i don't think i've ever seen anybody fishing um, but there is a dock over there oh no fishing no swimming i guess I should have seen that on the sign but anyways uh, it's a nice little park here and there's some more picnic tables down there and it's just kind of a loop around so uh, nice place it's just it's like 100 degrees today so uh, there's not much shade uh, so that's why I'm parked over there but if it was a little cooler I'd be parked over here close to the water or if it was later in the day when the uh, shade was beside the curb so anyways I'm gonna walk back over there and show you that TV again and kind of let you know what I like and what I don't like about it. All right guys, so I want to give you a little uh, quick review of this TV here. Uh, you know, I've got, I've got on this latch here um, when I'm driving, it just latches there. It doesn't go anywhere, but I'm able to move it around. And if I'm sitting in the front face this way, I can watch it over there. I swing it all the way out and turn it, but it will go um, that way it'll go this way so I'm liking that uh, swivel uh, mount it's working out great let me turn the fan down a little uh, but it's it's kind of got a little screensaver if you hit pause and it stays on pause for a while right now I've just got a DVD in to show you guys but I like this for the most part the picture on this is really good for a little 19-inch uh, TV, it's it's not that bad. Um, the the quality is pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but the one thing that I'm not happy with is the sound. You can hear me talking. I'm pretty much talking over the TV. I've got it all the way up on 100. That's as loud as it goes. So when I've got my fan all the way up, let me turn it up here and show you. When I've got that fan all the way up, I can't hear anything. I, I don't know what it's saying. Um, so that's the main thing that I'm not happy with about this TV. But other than that, it works great. So I've got a couple things that I'm going to um, do to solve that. Uh, this TV does have some ports on the back. It's got um, an output here for earphones. And I've tried it with like a computer speaker. Uh, for a, a laptop and it works good so um, I know it'll work you know that way with external speakers um, there's 
you know, other, there's PC audio, there's HDMI in, there's USB in, um, there's VGA in, um, there's coax out over here. There's, you know, four colors here to plug in to go out to something else. On this side, you've got another USB. Uh, you can put an SD card in here, and then you've got your DVD player. Uh, so, I mean, this little TV has a lot of things going for it. Uh, for the price, $149. Uh, I don't think you can beat it. It's, you know, pretty good TV all around other than the sound. This speaker down here is just not not enough for what I need. Now, if it were a nice calm day and not burning up outside like it is today and I didn't have to run the fan, it, it'd probably be fine. Um, but for the most part, I'm just not happy with the speaker. So I have a couple things that I'm going to be doing to fix that problem. Um, there's an AM FM radio that you can hook up speakers to and it is amplified so it will amplify the sound going to the speakers and you can actually plug this into it um, it's got a, you know left and right on it and I don't know what the cord is called but I'll put a link in the description below um, but it plugs into that headphone jack there and then it plugs into the radio and then through that radio I'll be able to play the sound hopefully um, that's what I'm thinking anyways another thing I'll be able to do with that radio is play music through my phone um, through Bluetooth uh, I'm getting a Bluetooth adapter to plug into that radio on the front of it also uh, and then when we go to the drive-in movie I'll be able to turn it on AM and pick up the drive-in movie theater sound and then we can just watch the movie with the speakers in the van and not have to pull their you know big bulky speaker in because sometimes their speaker isn't really that great half the time you get one that's busted and you can't really hear what's uh what's going on with the movie anyway so i just wanted to give you a quick update with this uh, tv and let you know how i was enjoying it in case you buy this tv you'll know what to expect uh, i know a couple of you already bought the tv before i did and y'all didn't really like it and then a couple of you said you actually have this TV and you liked it great so uh, the reviews were kind of mixed reviews but I just want to give you my opinion of the TV so uh, be on the lookout for that video when I get everything um, in from Amazon I'm gonna I'm gonna hook all that up and get a video up of that and then I've also got another project coming up soon that I think some of you guys will enjoy is um, I'm going to be making an awning for the van. That way I'll be able to put the awning out and put my camp chair out there and be in the shade outside the van. Enjoy a little bit of, you know, more of the outdoors when I'm at a campsite or something. So just be on the lookout for that video as well as the audio uh, video. Those are two that I'll be uh, putting together hopefully in the next week or two. And uh, I'll try to get those up as soon as possible everything that I'm going to use I'm going to link in my description so if you want to replicate the you know the audio or the awning you should be able to do that so if you have any other questions just let me know and I'll be glad to answer them so um, anyways y'all have a good one